Hello, everyone. My name is Joelle, and welcome to this 10 minute follow along for ankle mobility. For today, I would recommend having two yoga blocks handy or stacks of books. And if you've got it, an exercise stick or something like a broom handle might also be nice for where we're going to start out. And we're going to start out with a little bit of self massage. So if you don't have a stick, you can use your knuckles and just get them into your calves and sit back. And you might experiment a little bit with where your knuckles are, just moving them around, rocking them a little bit from side to side, and just finding where any tense spots may be. And if you do have something like a stick, you can put it in between the calves and the hamstrings and just sit back and believe me, you will feel this. And then you can slowly just kind of turn the stick, move it down every couple of seconds. Just take some nice deep breaths. Notice how the legs are feeling. Calf tightness is a huge contributor when it comes to ankle mobility and flexibility. And soft tissue work can really help to break up any blockages in those areas. And here's just a side view. You can even kind of hold on to the stick, rock side to side a little bit. And by the way, in case you'd ever like to do a bit of a warm up, an additional warm up before this ankle mobility routine, I also have a 10 minute yoga for calves video, which is not quite as intense as this one, but pairs up really nicely with it. Beautiful. So let's get rid of the stick if you were using one. And we'll take some ankle rotations. So coming to a seated position, slide the right arm underneath the right knee and hold on to it with the left hand and just start to circle that right ankle. So we're just kind of bracing the leg here to ensure that it's just the ankle that's moving in one direction. And then we'll simply reverse directions. You can do this video as often as you'd like, probably three to four times a week is a good baseline for consistent progress. You can kind of measure your before and after mobility, see what happens after just 10 minutes. Great job. And let's try the other side. So left arm slides under the left knee, hold on to that knee with the right hand, and take those circles again. These are called controlled articular rotations or cars, and they're just nice to do anytime we have a couple of free minutes just to loosen up that joint a little bit and reverse directions. Wonderful. So let's release that. Move any props you might have on the map off to the side. Plant the hands and we'll just step it back into a downward facing dog by tucking the toes, lifting the hips. Pedal it out. Left to right a couple of times. And then we'll place the top of the left foot onto the mat and alternate bending and straightening both legs. So as the right leg bends and you come up onto the right toes, the left leg straightens. And then the left leg bends as the right leg straightens. So we're str stretching through the Achilles and calf of the right leg and through the top of the foot, the other side of that ankle joint on the left. Great job. Release that, pedal it out right and left just a couple of times before we switch sides. So top of the right foot comes to the mat. And again, we take those alternating, straightening and bending motions with our legs. So the ankles are really important for everything we do. Moves like squatting, running, climbing stairs, and tight calves and tight ankles can really hold us back sometimes. It's not a joint we think about as much maybe as our hips or our shoulders, but it's a little joint that takes a lot of pressure all day long. Wonderful. Let's release that and we'll simply step the hands forward now. 
You might want to take hold of a block here if the floor feels a little bit far away. And we'll just lift the heels up now, set them back down, and then lift the toes. So keeping the legs straight if possible, we're just kind of alternating lifting heels and then toes. And of course, to intensify, you could lower the level of the block or even get rid of it altogether. So you choose the intensity, intensity, sorry, the depth of the stretch that you're looking for today. Starting to get intense here, but just you wait, it's gonna get better. <laughs> Really nice. Now we're gonna do what I sometimes call the flamingo stretch. So pick up the left foot off the ground and then drop the left hip. So if you take a peek here, you can see that I'm dropping my left hip lower than my right one. So your left knee is lower than the right knee. And again, you might have the fingertips on a block or you might be able to move that block to the side and come a little bit closer to that right leg. So if we're looking at our knees, and the closer we get to that standing leg, the deeper the stretch in the calf is going to get. And if you think this one is intense, just you wait. <laughs> I'm getting closer to what I think of as the world's most intense calf stretch. Great job. We can set that left foot down now. Shake it out a little bit and we'll try the other side. So bend the right knee now, drop that right hip. The right knee comes lower than the left one. And again, looking at those knees, we might be using a block here, maybe inching the hands a little bit closer to the standing foot, maybe even holding on to the standing leg, pulling ourselves in a little bit closer. Just breathe into that intensity no matter where you are. Great. Now let's take hold of that second block and we'll place it underneath the ball of the left foot. So the left toes are up on the block. We might be placing the hands onto the second block and we're going to press the left foot down into that block. So imagine you could go through the block and then on an out breath, you might lower the level of the block that you're holding on to. And then again, press the toes through the block. Three, two, one. Breathe out and maybe come a little bit deeper. And one last time, press the toes through that block. Really press as hard as you can. And then breathe out and release. And just hold it here for one more breath. Beautiful. Now keeping the block underneath the foot, pick up the right leg again for that flamingo stretch. Drop the right hip. It's not going to want to, but drop the right hip. Knee comes lower. And again, we might keep our hands up on the second block or be on the fingertips. This one is the world's most awful calf stretch that I referred to a moment ago. And let's really sit. Wonderful job. I know that one is really tough. Shake out the legs a little bit. And we'll try the other side. So now the ball of the right foot comes onto that block. And we'll press the right toes through the block for five, four, three, two, one. And breathe out and come a little bit closer. Two more times. Push them down. Five. Four, three, two, one. Breathe out and sink deeper. And last time, press. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale and sink deeper and just hold here. Wonderful. Pick up the left leg again, maybe holding onto a block. Sink that left hip. Lower it down, lower that knee. And looking at the knees, just hold that flamingo stretch. 
Believe it or not, we're only here for 30 seconds, but I know that 30 seconds can feel like a long time with such an intense stretch. And by the way, if you'd like to spend an additional 10 minutes on the mat today, I will also link to my hip mobility sequence in the description box below, which you might enjoy trying. Really good job. Let's release that, set the blocks off to the side, come back down onto the mat. We'll come into a half kneel with the left foot flat to the mat and just placing both hands onto the knee. We're just going to kind of rock it forwards a couple of times, keeping the left heel on the mat. So just using the weight of the upper body and let's hold that stretch now, pressing the knee forwards, keeping that heel down, press, press, press. And release. Wonderful. And we'll just compare that to the other side. Right foot comes flat. Both hands onto that right knee, pressing forwards, rocking back and forth a couple of times. And then just hold that last one, pressing it forward. Feel the stretch in the back of the heel, the Achilles, the ankle. And then we can release that. And just for a counter stretch now, let's come to sit on our heels and just rock back, maybe keeping the fingertips behind you, a little bit of a balance here, stretching out through the front of the ankle, the top of the foot. This is our last stretch for today. Do remember to check out my calf stretch routine or hip mobility videos linked below. I would love to know what you thought of this one. Leave me a comment below or hit the like button if you enjoyed it. 10 minutes a day, even if that's all we've got, can really make a difference in our bodies and minds. You did beautifully today. Very good job, and I hope to see you soon. Namaste.